Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page Hello everybody and welcome back to Simply Designed. Hello if you are new, I'm so happy to have you back and welcome if you are new. My name is Anastasia, I have four kiddos, I'm a stay-at-home mom and on this channel you'll find a whole lot of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, decorating, room makeovers. If that is something that you enjoy then I would love to have you stick around, I would love you join my family but you guys this is embarrassing. I know I did not clean before I filmed. This is just as real as it gets. And let me tell you, it's just a season in life for me where it's just messy all the time. It's random plate things in random places. And But that's the beautiful thing about it. It's just a season. It's not always going to be like this. But I found that when I had one, two, three kids, I was able to clean my home, keep it clean, no problem, 90% of the time. But after having my fourth baby, I don't know, I just cannot, I cannot, that's all I'm gonna say, I just cannot keep it clean, I cannot stay on top of it, I get tired, maybe I'm getting old, I don't know. With that being said, I am starting here in the living room and this needs some help. Um, I was filming during the time my boys were taking a nap, so I did not pull out a vacuum cleaner. I just used a handy dandy old broom to get all of the crumbs, all of the dirt off of the rug, and we had a movie night the night before, and let's just say that there was a popcorn firework going on. <laughs> So usually when I have a disaster clean with me, something that's completely horrendous, I usually like to do a deep clean, take my time, but I only had about an hour and a half until my boys woke up, I had to be out the door. So this is just me picking up, I won't be doing any kind of deep cleaning, nothing. It's just go, go, go until the kids wake up and then go, go, go again. But here I am in the kitchen, I will be clearing out the tables, putting food, pots, and pans away, and my little guy is at a stage where he is going through all of the drawers, he's taking things out of the drawers, and you will see that there is a hand mixer in my bedroom. Like what? That is so random. But I am teaching him currently that, you know what, the kitchen is mom's, you can go in your room and you can take out all of your toys, so it's just a learning process and that's why I have pots and pans all over my house in the most randomest places. And you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't want to be shy.
Okay, and now I have made it to the dishes, the never-ending pile of dishes. And you guys, we have lived without a dishwasher for about seven years now. And I have not complained about not having a dishwasher up until now. I mean, this has to be a sign that I'm getting old. But I'm going to embrace it. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to tackle this pile of dishes. And then I'm going to have a big pile of dishes to put away afterwards. I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for you. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me? And by this time, my boys have got up from their nap, so I have about 10 minutes to quickly pick up all the dirty laundry from the bathroom, from the bedroom, and get it all together. And there's a pile of dishes, there is a pile of laundry. Those are the two piles that I have in the house. But you guys, if your home looks like this, don't feel bad. My home looks like this sometimes too. And that is just real life. Um, I think it's very unpractical to think that you can always have a perfect house, especially if you're a perfectionist. That's something that I have struggled with. And sometimes you just gotta let your life do what it has to do and it's okay if your house ain't perfect it's okay if you're not perfect you learn you make mistakes you get up you try again and that's the thing you can do is that you can just try to keep your house clean a little bit better than it was yesterday so you guys i hope you got encouraged to get up clean your space even if you have an hour even if you have five minutes 
everything counts. And if you guys enjoyed this, I hope that I can get to know you down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next time. Bye! Option to be someone else, I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious, forget I made this way But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe